Morning, folks. Today I've got the uh, <coughs> kernel conch I have in what is called a covered sugar bowl. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the inside. I've got it whipped up already with a vintage rubber set brush. Uh, Frank from Strike Gold Shave is one that fixed my brush up for me. There's a little bit of a story behind that brush. I'll tell you about it here in a moment. Here's the shaver. Manatee 208. It has a uh, Gillette Silver Blue in it. If you haven't seen the other videos, it's got a slight overhang. And that's what the blade looks like on the exposure there. Got a pretty good shave with it yesterday. Very efficient shave yesterday. Already put a hot towel to the face. Got Allen Block complete with rubber band. There's a little bit of Allen Block in there. Got Sterling Switch Hazel mentholated and scented. And going to follow up with matching aftershave. Bay Rum. And still using the uh, Clubman Beard Oil. And it's, it's about halfway gone. It's only a one ounce container, so it, it'll go a little bit quicker than what I was using before. Uh, like I said, I've already put a hot towel to the face, and I'm going to use the uh, Cube Pre-Shave Soap. Yeah, it was a very efficient shave yesterday. There is not a whole lot here to be shaving off. So I'm thinking this might end up being a two pass shave and possibly a pickup or two. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot for a three pass shave. <laughs> I have uh, had this uh, soap, I think two years, got it for Christmas a while back from my parents. And um, got the uh, covered sugar bowl from my parents at the same time. So I put Colonel Conk's uh, Bay Rum soap in the uh, container there and it's been there ever since. kind of see I've got it it's it's yogurt a little on the wet side but it's not drippy by any means it's not quite that wet in other words the um, yesterday was a green soap <laughs> and um, you can kind of tell shaver survived just fine with the green soap it didn't turn green or light green. It's been a Monday morning. Typically if I do something on a Monday morning it's usually fairly quick anyway. I have a um, Links down below if you want to catch me for Tuesday. Tuesday will be off camera using the Derby Premium Blade. See how it works in here. I have a blog and you can catch me on Google+. Plus. You know, I haven't done it in the past, but maybe I should put it on Instagram down below also. This can be a pretty quick shave. <laughs> With the first pass, yeah, as a matter of fact, the pickup pass might be mostly with the 
with the against the grain pass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can catch it with the against the grain. Yeah, because there is not much left. Very efficient shaver. And not always. I mean, I was interested in open comb just because of the design. But I'm thinking um, sometimes a number of people have the impression that that's uh, <clears throat> going to usually ends up being an efficient shaver as opposed, opposed to a mild shaver. So if you're looking for an efficient shaver, this will be on, on that list. Very efficient. Makes it kind of nice. You can get by with the two-pass shave. That's what I usually do with the uh, shavette, because usually, like I say, there is not much left with the shavette with the two-pass shave. So that silver blue is working pretty well this morning. Kind of thought it might. For me, Colonel Conk has plenty of slickness. <clears throat> it works. I like it. It works well for me. You can kind of tell it. It's. If I'm going back over buffing in the same places where I've already been, it's got to have a certain amount of slickness. one spot right there that's not the easiest to get. They're pretty stubborn whiskers right there. Pretty stubborn. If I didn't know any better, they, um, they're growing in different directions. It's been hard to pass for me to notice it, but when you're, when you've got short stubble, and you're running your hand across it, you can kind of feel it uh, trying to, it seems like it, it moves from one side to the other. In other words, like it does grow at an angle. I know I have a spiral right here, but growing, I guess you might see in different directions in the same spot, I've never really noticed. Even when I had my beard, of course, you know, when they get long enough, they lay down. Never really noticed them growing quite like that, but it sure does feel like it when they're short. You can kind of feel the uh, the the um, resistance, I guess you might say, when you're rubbing your hand across them. But that right there is pretty darn smooth. It's one of those kind of shades where I know nobody's never going to notice those whiskers. In other words, it's not BBS, but nobody's never going to notice them. Even at the end of the day, they're not going to see them. This is a very efficient shave this morning. Makes it great for a Monday morning. <laughs> and get around a little bit quicker. Stinging's on this side of the neck this morning. It's kind of typical that usually if there's going to be stinging, it switches from one side to the next. Don't see any weepers. I expected nothing but a good shade this morning. 
it is an efficient shaver so if you're skin sensitive and you're going to try to use this shaver you'll definitely want to test out your blades see which one works the best for you because uh, I'm pretty sure with the efficient shaver it's uh, going to be kind of picky about what blade you use in order to keep the irritation down the um, it's your mileage may vary This with the menthol makes it pretty nice in the mornings. The um, whoever designed the bathroom, there's no vents in here, none for heat, none for the air conditioner. So it gets pretty warm in here with the lights on, like this, pretty bright. <laughs> in other words, typically I don't have all these lights on, and uh, it put they put off some heat, even though they are LED lights. So it's nice to have a little bit of a cooling effect on the face. Cool things off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the uh, Bay Rum here. The, the, this bottle. Um, in my opinion, it's a unique bottle. The uh, Here's the cap. And it's pretty, pretty much a standard cap. Nothing all that special about it. It's plastic. You know, it looks like it's gold metal or whatever. This one here comes with a plastic stopper, so it helps retain the um, the scent in there. And of course, you know, make sure if you're doing this over the sink, you got the stopper in, because um, you don't want to drop this one down the down the sink. So your restrictor, in other words, there isn't one. You just have an opening of that that large. So it does come out with a, like it's ready to come on out. It's not waiting. <laughs> the scent, like I said, <clears throat> is somewhat different than my other Bay Rums, which is nice. In other words, I don't have one that's the same. My Bay Rums are different. I do have one more that is similar to a Bay Rum. I would consider it a Bay Rum, just a different take. Shave with it tomorrow. Like I said, if you want to, you can keep up with me. Uh, I've got links down below help guide you where I'm at when I'm not doing uh, shaves on camera. But this, uh, I should say, this is a glass container also. So no, don't drop it. <laughs> like I said, I don't see any weepers. It didn't feel it didn't feel like I had any. Just very light stinging over here. Just not uncommon for me. <clears throat> Once again, this rubber set brush I said sh should say when I shipped it to Frank, probably didn't get enough packing in there. And I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. You might see something that looks like a scratch. Um, the uh, it was broken shipping. And Frank was able to put that piece back in for me and re knot it. And, uh, matter of fact, that's what it looks like on the bottom. But this is a, to me, this is a very unique brush. Don't, I don't see very many rubber sets like this out and about. Matter of fact, in a few more months, I'll probably be on the hunt for another one of these kind of unique shaped brushes. It'll take me a few months because I know somebody's going to ask a lot more what I want to pay. <laughs> Try to get everything as cheap as I can get it. <laughs> but in a case like this, you know, they, you know, there's not very many of them, so I'll have to probably pay a little bit more than what I'm hoping for if I'm really going to intend to get one. I had a great shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.